Hi guys, back again. <laughs> hi, hi kitty, hi baby. This is my kitty girl. Say hi baby. Okay guys, this one is in regards to uh, the whole, I'm, for those of you that have read about the Nigella Lawson thing, you know, the, um, the Food Network, or she was on the Food Network. I don't even know if she's on the Food Network anymore because I, I, don't, I don't watch any of that stuff anymore. But um, you've all heard about how her husband, that Sachi creep jerk, no good for nothing, we saw the pictures, grabbed her by the neck, the whole thing. She looked terrified. She had tears, you name it. You know, it's not that Nigella Lawson would ever be watching this video, but I hope, I hope you go away and never look at this man or talk to him again. And I hope all women will see this as an example of what men will do to you. Um, for that psycho jerk to sit there and say that they were just kidding around just goes to show you how sick and insane these men are. You need to get away, all you women out there. If, if you saw those pictures of Nigella Lawson, where he had her by the neck and, and she looked terrified and she had tears, you name it. This man is sick. He's sick. And I hope with all my heart that this woman walks away and never gives him a second look. She sure as hell doesn't need him for money or any other purpose. To uh, No fears in that respect. And I know a lot of women stay with a man because they don't know what they're going to do financially. But... This man, for this man to claim that this is just, they were kidding around, um, is insane. This is insane. I hope she walks away before she ends up dead. This is what these kind of idiots, jerks do. I know, believe me. And to you, Nigella, and any other woman out there in this situation, walk away, get away, never, never have a thing to do with a man like that, ever. For the sake of, you know, her children, I hope she, she walks away and never, ever uh, uh, talks to him again. I don't want her, you know, or any other woman to make the mistake I did, which was to stay with an abusive man. It's a horrible mistake. Uh, you pay dearly for it. Uh, my ex-husband beat me, cut me, bruised me, pushed me, threw me, pulled my hair. You name it, it was done to me. Um, I can't even tell you what that does to you, uh, how it affects you, how, what, what, it, what it does uh, in terms of your, how you just view life when you're going through all this. It makes you insane. It makes you crazy. It makes you think and do things you would never have done in life. You, you just, you just kind of lose your mind when you're being abused like that. And Nigella Lawson is a beautiful woman. She has no business, you know, she has no reason to stay with an idiot like that. He's, he's, he's garbage. For this man to even joke about it, to even say that he was joking about it, he's garbage. There's a difference between when you're kidding with somebody. Say, for instance, you're kidding you around. You're, I'm going to kill you, you know. There's a difference when the people are laughing and being silly and when some man's got his hand like this and she looks terrified and she's obviously crying, what have you. Big difference. And for this idiot to think that we're all so stupid that we don't know the difference, that just goes to show you how sick these men are. And you women out there need to see the, these pictures. Look at those pictures. See the terror in her face. And I hope she's got the brains to know that this is not what she wants around her children. I didn't. I didn't have the brains. I kept thinking... I'm married, I have to make this work, and blah, 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 blah. Biggest mistake of my life was staying with my ex-husband. I was married to him for 22 years, and I went through living hell. Living hell. And it is not worth it in any way, shape, or form. Um, it saddens me to see a woman like that who is so successful, who has so much going for her. I don't know if it's true or not, but on one of the things I was watching on TV the other day, um, they said that she was saying he's going to anger management classes. Well, honey, let me tell you something. That's a bunch of, that's crock. My ex went to anger management classes after I had him arrested when he nearly killed me. He was court ordered to go to anger management. Believe me, it didn't work. Uh, these men have a problem. They have a, a real problem. I, I, I think it's extremely rare if they actually get rid of that problem. And your life is not worth waiting to find out if they do. Too many women are being killed by their boyfriends and husbands because of a momentary fit of anger. I would not be here if it weren't for other, you know, someone else who saved my life a couple of times, okay? I would not be. I was grabbed by the neck. I was drugged by the neck to a garage. Who knows what he was going to do to me in there. He had me like this, literally carrying me. I don't know how my head didn't separate from my shoulders. I mean, literally, I was carried like this. Um, I was beaten. I was kicked. I had my hair pulled. 
I had black eyes, I was bruised, I was cut, you name it. And it all started the same way with just some, you know, little, a push, a shove, you name it. And then it progressed to severe violence. I'm very grateful that I'm alive. I'm very grateful I'm here in one piece, that I don't have any permanent uh, physical damage. Um, what I saw this with Nigella Lawson, I, to see this, I don't know what she saw in that guy anyway. Ugh, when I looked at him, I, first time I saw him, I thought, ugh, there's this gross guy. Anyway, um, you need to use this as an example. Look at those pictures. See the terror in her face. This is a man who at some point could just snap. And you know, and don't think because they're well-known, famous people, you know, that they're, 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 they're successful or rich or whatever. Don't think, oh, well, they're not going to do that. I mean, seriously, how many people in this world that were famous or wealthy, whatever, were killed by who for whatever reason? Um, you women out there, you need to get away. Do not make excuses. Do not find reasons to stay with a man who is abusive to you, whether it be physically or verbally. Either way is very hurtful, but obviously the physical can end your life. If someone's physically abusive to you, it can end your life. Verbally, it affects you emotionally. But either one is just, you know, is bad. You want to get away. You do not want to be with a man who does this because it will affect you for life. Um, and you don't want your children in it. I wish I'd have had the brains to have left when I should have with the first push across the room when I was pregnant with my daughter. I don't know. You know, the only, the only thing I can say is that my children wouldn't be who they are. But at the same time, I think what my life might have been if I'd have left him with that first shove. And he too was, oh, I'm so sorry. You know, the whole routine. You women know. You know the routine. I'm sorry. I really love you. The flowers, the candy, the gifts, the trips, the whatever. Oh, I'm so sorry. I love you. I, I'd die without you. I don't know what I'd do without you. I, I just lost it for a minute. I promise it'll never happen. You mean the world to me. I don't know what I'd do without you, blah, blah, blah. Or those who, you know, who uh, say that they're going to kill themselves if they don't have you. Or in my case, I had said to me a few times, if I can't have you, no one will have you. That's a pretty awful feeling. I at one point had him tell me, you know, I can have you taken out for a hundred bucks. Let me tell you something, ladies. A man who is aggressive in that way, a man who abuses you physically and verbally, is not a man. He's an ass. He's a jerk. He's no good. He's garbage. You need to get away from him. Run as fast, as quick as you can. Go to a shelter. Go to the police. Go whatever you need to. Do it right. I already have a video on getting away from an abusive man. But I'm telling you this now because after seeing someone like Nigella Lawson, this beautiful, successful, wealthy woman, what, if she stays with this man, she gets what she gets. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying nanny boo boo, tough on you. What I'm saying is if she stays with this man and something happens to her, there is no one to blame but herself. She is not in a position where she has to stop and think, oh my God, if I leave him, how am I going to support my child, my children? How, where are we going to live? What am I going to do? How? She doesn't have any of that. So there is no excuse to stay with this jerk. None whatsoever. And there are plenty of you women out there who are in the same boat. You'd be able to make it on your own financially, and you know it, but you stay with a guy who's a total jerk. You need to just get away. Get away as fast and as quick as you can and as safely as you can. Make sure people know you're going to do this. Don't do it alone. Don't tell the guy who's been hitting and kicking and throwing you and doing whatever to you alone. Don't walk in there and say, I'm leaving you. I'm divorcing you today. That'll be the moment he snaps and says, no, you're not, and he kills you. Don't be that dumb. You make sure that there is someone else with you, that there are others around you. And I don't mean, um, you know, uh, your, uh, a buddy. Make sure that there are some adults around that can, can help you if he should decide to get out of control. Even if it means calling the police to say, look, I need to I'm going to be leaving my husband, my boyfriend. He's very violent. I need someone there. You do it. But you, you get away. You get away, ladies. To see someone like Nigella Lawson being treated like that, who knows how long it's been going on. And if he did that in public, what has he been doing in private? And she needs to use her head. Nigella, you need to use your head. Get away from that man for the sake of your children. You don't want your daughter to think that's okay. Believe me. You will regret staying with a man who is abusive to you. I was abused for years and years and years by my ex-husband. He hurt me so badly that sometimes I don't know how I came out of it. There were times I couldn't even walk after what he did to me. I was in so much pain. There were times that I 
had a black eye. There were times that, there was one time when he poked me in the eye intentionally. He poked me in the eye and within seconds, I had a blood pocket hanging out of my eye, literally hanging outside of my eye. The clear part around your eye, you know, well, my blood vessels completely burst and it was hanging outside of my eye. He had to rush me, he had to rush me to the emergency room. Me being in the state of mind I was that abuse, abusive women are in when this is happening, I lied to the doctor and said that uh, I was standing in the wrong place and he accidentally went like that and it poked me. And that's what happened. That's how, that's how crazy you get when you're in that situation. You start lying and making up stories because you have this, I don't know what it is that happens. But like I said, when you get out of it, you look back and you go, my God, what was wrong with me? Why was I going through that? Because now, as I've said before, if a man showed me any kind of abuse, I'll tell you what, the cops will be called or who knows what will happen. I'll be out of there so fast, it won't even, he, he won't even know he knew me. No tolerance now whatsoever. But you women out there who are being abused, physically and verbally, or both, you know what I'm talking about. You know your fears. You know what you're going through. Nigella Lawson, those pictures when I saw them, I was, I was shocked. I was absolutely shocked to see that this creep, jerk, gross-looking man was doing this to this woman. Who he thinks he is to be able to do that, I don't know. That makes me wonder what has been going on in her life that he felt he could do this in public, of all places, in public. That was not funny. That was not joking around. He's an idiot to think that we're going to believe that that was just joking around. He's an absolute idiot. So what I'm saying is women, and I'm speaking to women because I know there are men out there who are abused that, you know, get out of it, go do, but th do what you have to. I, I'm putting this out to women because men are so much stronger, okay? That's a fact. Like it or not, it's a fact. Uh, a man can walk up to women a woman and grab her and snap her like that. You know, it's that easy. Um, it's just the way we are. Nature made it to where, you know, for whatever reason, you know, I guess hunter gatherer, whatever that whole thing. But men are stronger. The majority of men are stronger. Um, so you've got to just use your heads. Get out. Get away. Don't find excuses. There's too many excuses you can come up with. I know. Believe me. I lived them. I made them up. I hid it. Nobody knew that I was being abused for 10 years. For 10 years. No, I didn't tell a soul. And if somebody saw bruises or cuts on me, I made up insane excuses. And since I had so many kids, it was easy. Oh yeah, well I was playing with the kids, I fell and hit the table. Oh yeah, the, you know, it was so easy to make excuses. Don't do it. Um, get out. Get out. And Nigella Lawson, I hope that you, I hope with all my heart that you turn your back and pretend you never knew this man. You did not have children with him. You owe him nothing except to say, get lost. That's the most you owe him is get lost. Do not go back to the home that you were sharing with him. Don't live in that home if he's out of the home. It's a terrible memory. Get the hell out of that house. Start your own life. Start all over. Focus on your career and your children and forget him. He's not worth the time of the day. He's garbage. He's a, he's a a 70-year-old man who's, who's losing it. For all you know, maybe he's going into dementia. He could be going crazy and really hurt you. Um, let go of the jerk. And to all you women out there, please, 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 don't make the mistake I did. I stayed with someone for 22 years that hurt me so badly. You have no clue. You have no clue what I went through. The times that I bled. The times that I had lumps and bumps and bruises and hair ripped out of my head and my jaw hurting because I was socked and punched. And that goes for my first husband as well. He did that too. He became, well, let's just say he drank. And when he drank, he wasn't very nice. Uh, luckily, that one only lasted three years. But this second one, you know, I just felt like, oh, it's my second marriage. I have to make it, blah, blah, blah. No, you don't. I don't care how long you've been married, whether it's a week or 20 years. If you see a man who's being abusive, you, if you're with a man who's being abusive, you get away. Um, and if you know of anybody who's being abused, try to help them. Um, you know, I don't know. It's, it's hard. I know people don't want to get involved. They're afraid. But you know what? A woman who's being abused, you really, they need help. They need somebody to back them up, to be there for them, to support them. It's a very difficult thing to go through. So all you women, um, look at those pictures of Nigella Lawson with his hands around her neck. Next time it could be the real thing. 
And what a sad loss that would be because of some idiot like him. And that goes to all you women, celebrity or not. If you're with a man who thinks it's funny to grab a woman by the neck where she's crying and she's scared, you're with a psycho and you need to get away. So anyway, guys, I just wanted to make a short video because when I saw that with Nigella Lawson, it really broke my heart to think how many women are out there like this who are, she's in denial. If she thinks that all this man needs is anger management, she is in denial, which is, that's part of it. I was in denial. I was like, oh yeah, you know, he was just mad. He had a bad day. Um, maybe I did something. Maybe I said something. I even had people telling me, oh, it was just, you know, a bad day for him, whatever. Or, or maybe he's just upset about something. You know, there was always something. And the reality of, is, it, of it is, is it's absolutely 1,000, 1 million percent unacceptable behavior from a man. You do not accept it in any way, shape, or form. And if you have children, please use your brains. Get the hell away from a man like that. You don't want to expose them to this or keep them in this. I, that, I regret that, but I did what it, I, I shouldn't say I regret it. I should say it was a mistake I made. It's gone. It's over. I've gone on with my life. I'm happy now. I'm happy I'm out of it. I'm happy that I've moved on. Wish I wouldn't have stayed with him, but I did. I can't change the past, so I've got to let that go. And I'm moving on with my life. I have. I've been divorced from this man for... Uh, It'll be 10 years in this, this July that I've been away from him, divorced. Uh, he's no longer alive. He did commit suicide. Um, so I don't have the fears of him coming around doing anything to me, which I know a lot of you women do. You're, you're, you're terrified that he's going to come after you and hurt you. That's why you have to take steps. You've got to inform people. You've got to inform the police. You've got to do what you can to get away safely and stay away because they do not change. Take my word for it. They don't change. The anger management did nothing for my ex-husband. Um, as I said, there were some times there, I, am, I don't know how I'm alive. To be honest with you, somebody was watching over me. Something, I don't know what, was watching over me because there are a few times there when I should not have, I shouldn't have made it through, to be honest with you, but I did. So, um, I, you know, we all have a purpose. They say you don't go till it's your time. Well, I guess my time was not up with him. And thankfully, I got the courage one night to say, get out now or I'll call the police. It just struck me. Literally, one night, I remember it was in the den of the house we were in, and I said, get your things and get out. Uh, you know, this man also became a drug addict, which intensified the problem. And that was something I was not going to tolerate in any way, shape, or form. Uh, I stayed with him for six years with the whole rehab and all that, and I realized, forget it. He's not going to, he can't kick it. Um, and thankfully, that night, something Something came inside of me. Something like entered my head and said, tell him now to get out now. Just end it. And I did. That was it. That night in July, July 10th of 2003, I said, get out and never, ever show your face to me again. That was it. That was the end of it. 100% he was out of my life. There was no talking, going back, nothing. It was over and done with. And I thank goodness that I that I got the courage to do that. So guys, um, all I can say is it's not worth it in any way. No man, no person is worth being with if they're going to abuse you like that. It's just not going to get better. And when it comes to men, it's just, it's too sad. I, I can't watch, I can never see the news. I can never watch or get on online without seeing some man has killed his girlfriend or his wife. Right now, we have a big one going on that's nationwide about an ex-cop who uh, has been accused of killing his wife and trying to make it look like a suicide. Um, guys, if you're met with a man who likes to, you know, who's a cheater too, who likes to have affairs, what have you, you know, you need to get away. The, you need to get away from guys who just aren't doing things in the right way in life because something's not right. You know, they might be having an affair with somebody who decides they don't want you around, so let's get rid of her. Use your head, ladies. Get away from guys that you know are not doing the right thing, okay? Love you all. I wish you the best. And uh, your life is worth too much. And your future is worth too much to waste it on a man who does nothing but make you cry, make you look in the mirror and go, what's wrong with me? What did I do wrong? Why am I so unlovable? Am I that ugly? Am I that fat? Am I this, that? Am I a failure? Am I He's going to make you feel like you're nothing if you allow it. So get away. Become the special, wonderful person that you are, that you can be, and that you, that you will become if you get away from this 
man who is destroying you. Take care, guys. Love you. Bye-bye.